President Biden spoke directly to families who were awaiting to hear about the hostages held by Hamas during his State of the Union address. He called for their return. That includes Dr. Shara, Sh Sharon Lifshitz, whose parents were kidnapped nearly six months ago. Her mother was released. Her 83-year-old father is still being held by Hamas. The latest ceasefire and hostage negotiations broke down on Thursday. Joining us now is Dr. Sharon Lifshitz from Tel Aviv. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. The first question I want to ask is, how is your mom doing? I know she was released a few months ago. How is she? And she's doing okay. She was a bit, uh, she had um, pneumonia and she recovered. She's strong. But uh, as time passes, the questions remain and it becomes harder and harder um, to live in this suspense. How are you being kept in the loop on hostage negotiations? Are people, are, is the government telling you exactly what's going on with your dad and when he would be freed? No, we do get updates of sort, but I mean, it's understandable that in any hostage negotiation, must, much of it is behind closed doors. Um, I think we are, though, very concerned that, um, you know, while we are being told everything is being done, we don't always feel that the time frame we feel is appropriate for the release of elderly persons, such as my father, is being held. Sharon, we're looking at pictures of your dad. Tell me a little bit about him. My father is a very loving family man. He's a person who spent his whole life uh, you know, building up his community, his kibbutz on the one hand, and working towards uh, the two-state two solution, towards the idea of living amongst uh, our neighbors, uh, towards a peace. Sharon, what do you think the U.S. could do to get these hostages home? I think the U.S. is doing a lot, but I think at this point the U.S. should use any leverage it's got for um, for bringing back our, our loved one home and for towards um, long-term agreements between ourselves and our neighbors. And I think that there is a real opportunity here with uh, the U.S. administration, with our, with other uh, friends of Israel and the Palestinians to reach long-term agreement that will make the next stage be one of building bridges rather than destroying each other. Sharon, what would you tell Prime Minister Netanyahu if you had the opportunity? I think Prime Minister Netanyahu is uh, somebody who is fighting also a political game. Our game is not political. We are simply wanting to return our loved ones home. And uh, it seems that uh, this is bigger than anything. This is bigger that, than somebody's political survivor survival and I want him to do the decent thing. I think that he's being led by a coalition of very uh, right-wing people and he should not let them run the show. He should uh, gain some, um, you know, a more uh, holistic view of how this situation, this horrific situation can be resolved. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.